Welcome back, dear viewers, and after this interesting introduction, we are glad to have with us today His Excellency Konstantinos Peperegos, Ambassador of Greece to the State of Kuwait. Your Excellency, uh, we'd like to say good morning to you and good morning, Kuwait, and it's an honor to have you on this program with us. Good morning to you and to your team, and uh, for me it's a great pleasure to be with you. Absolutely. Your uh, Excellency, <coughs> definitely, we all, you know, Kuwait, as Kuwaitis, we remember the beautiful achievement that uh, the Greek national uh, team in soccer, you know, when they won the championship in, in uh, Europe uh, in 2005, it was, I 2004. guess? 2004. 2004, that yeah. was really amazing. Yes, yes, it was really an historic uh, event. We remember always uh, with great uh, uh, proudness. And uh, the Greek team really played uh, unique uh, football at this time. Mm -hmm. And this uh, year it was great for Greece in any case because we had the Olympic Games, which yeah. started in Greece. Yeah and uh, we won the Eurovision. In this case, it's a very lucky year for us. So, uh, Rehagel, uh, the, the German yes. coach, yes. did he get the citizenship of... Uh, yes, yes. Really? Yes, yes, we gave immediately after. Uh -huh, after yes, yes, and I think he lives the most of the time in Greece. In Greece, yeah. It's yes, a lovely yes. place, honestly. Yes, so, uh, yes. let's uh, <coughs> start, you know, our conversation, and of course, could 58 years of diplomatic relations between Kuwait and Greece, which are described as the historical uh, the uh, the uh, monument the historical monuments of Phylaka Island, which dates back to the like fourth century BC, still bear witness uh, to this. What is your assessment of uh, you know the historical relations between the two countries, yes. Greek and Kuwait? The, uh, really, the, the relations of the two countries start is, uh, starting during the, uh, the antiquity. Uh, the soldiers of Alexander the Great, mm -hmm. when they came back from the, their campaign from India, yeah. they stopped in the island of uh, Phylaka, Phylaka, which uh -huh. named Ikaria, Ikaria, because there is another yeah. Gr Greek island I now, I Ikaria in Greece. Ikaria or Ikaros? Icarus is the man from him took the name Icaria, Icaria the island. Okay, I the see. Island. Yeah. And, uh, and uh, they stayed there, they created a maritime port and mm -hmm. a flourishing uh, community. And that is the first uh, link between the two countries. After uh, was the empire of Alexander the Great, Greece and Kuwait were part of this empire. Mm -hmm. the, after the death of Alexander the Great, the capital uh, of this area was in Antiochia which is next to Damascus, mm -hmm. Damascus now, yeah. and uh, Phylaka was a part of this, uh, wow. so a part of this great kingdom. Wh wh this what an amazing thing that, you know, the, the, the Greek, uh, the, 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 the Alexander, you know, the great, you know, saw in Phylaka, that's why, you know, he took it as like, let's say, uh, a place where, you know, he can, you know, stay. And that was really amazing thing. Yes, because it was a strategic position okay. in the Arabic uh, Gulf here. Yeah, yeah. And after they were even to Tilos Island, which is Bahrain, and colonized there as well. Exactly. And yeah, we, we also... Is it uh, Delmon, they call it also, or...? Del no, no, it's the civilization they found there oh, they found on Bahrain okay. Island. was the Delmon civilization. Okay. Yes, yes. So, uh, if we, you know, think about the cooperation between the two countries, uh, your Excellency, you know, and ways to strengthen uh, the Kuwaiti-Greek relations in various fields. Yes, uh, Greece has always a very strong relation with all Arabic world. In this case, uh, Kuwait as a part of this, mainly we, we had communities and a lot of exchanges with uh, Lebanon, with uh, Egypt, uh, with uh, Syria, with Palestine. In this case, all that had an impact on Kuwait. In this mm -hmm. case, always <coughs> we were close to each other. Nice. And uh, after that, when uh, Kuwait uh, was in the, uh, became independent, among the first countries which uh, recognized it was uh, Greece. Greece. And uh, from this time started a very good uh, relation. relation. And uh, the Kuwaitis, as far as I see, all the old Kuwaitis remember Olympic Airlines mm -hmm. because they traveled a lot with this uh, company which created by Onassis and it was the best at this time. Nice. Uh, after that, uh, during the after the invasion of Kuwait, Greece was part of this coalition which 
yeah. liberated Kuwait. Nice. In this case, that creates really a strong uh, impact in our relations. Definitely, we, we appreciate that role, yes. definitely. Thank, thank you very much. Every, every year, uh, His uh, Highness the Emir uh, reminds that uh, during the, your National Day. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, okay, the relations were uh, very normal. When I arrived in uh, October 19, after one month, came my Minister of Foreign Affairs here for mm -hmm. official visit. Mm -hmm. And uh, started a new era in the relations, but uh, unfortunately, <laughs> COVID uh, yeah. st made a lot of made changes. everything <laughs> in hold. Yeah, <laughs> everything that's true. That's in hold. Yes. Yeah. In this now, we, you have a new government, and uh, we hope we can uh, continue and have a real business with them. And uh, it's uh, my Insha great aspiration. Inshallah, we say inshallah. Yes, inshallah. Yes. <laughs> so, uh, Your Excellency, how far uh, do you see the impact of Kuwaiti role? in uh, the regional and international scene, politically and uh, humanly. Uh, Kuwait is a very, a very active partner and uh, he is characterized by the role of mediator. Mm -hmm. uh, Greece, nice. uh, Greece and Kuwait have the same the belief at the same mm -hmm. values. Mm -hmm. The international law for us is uh, our, how to say, holy book, we can say, and uh, we cooperate very strongly in, in all that. Uh, that creates a lot of synergies because we have all these uh, same beliefs yeah. and Kuwait is very strong as well in the humanitarian aid and, uh, and in general it helps in giving assistance when there are uh, some events which uh, destroy even countries or population mm -hmm. and so and uh, they were very active for the vaccine as well yeah. during COVID. Yeah. And I saw that two days ago was again for many times has been here, the General Secretary of World Health Organization. And he told that Kuwait really is a partner who really helps very much his organization. That's really an honor, you know, to hear this from your excellency. And yes. uh, definitely it's really uh, to see uh, international witnesses for that. Thank yes. you very much. And uh, Alula as well is a great achievement. Yeah. in the Kuwait yeah. because it's they stopped this uh, rift what it was in the Gulf for uh, yeah. six years that's very important that's that's very important exactly no no doubt that uh, the economic and trade cooperation is having a rapid uh, progress and strong relations between both countries in that field your excellency uh, what is the volume of trade exchange between both countries? Listen, unfortunately, the volume is not big. It's around 30 million uh, a year, but it is expanding. But Good. in any case, uh, there is a great potential, and we hope we can uh, do more things. That is very important, is to have a direct link between the two capitals yeah. all over the year. Mm -hmm. If we have that, as we have with all other Gulf capitals, it, it, it can it's, ease it's up. a lot for culture, for trade, exactly. for everything. It if we stop, it's not the same. Uh, so, so what you're saying, it can ease up and remove all the obstacles if there are any yes. uh, in, in the trade. So let's uh, speak a little bit about education, Your Excellency. Uh, I mean, uh, Greek is uh, close to the you know Middle East, and uh, so why don't you have you know established an education relationship uh, for example you know you a lot of, lot of Kuwaiti students they go to England Europe yes. you know to study I mean why don't you like have this kind of certificate relationship uh, between uh, 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 some universities they have English uh, uh, as a language of instruction and uh, Kuwait University they, yes we started that last year uh -huh. in this case there are now many English uh, section in a lot of Greek universities in this case they are they open more for Kuwait for example students. engineering science and stuff like yes, that medical yes. yes literature as well and nice. a, a lot uh, of things mathematics uh, uh, medicine as well is very interesting, but we have a lot of uh, Kuwaiti pilots who come to Greece in order to take their uh, diploma. license. Oh. Yes, yes, oh. their license. That's yes, yes. It's, a, it's a stream really from Kuwaiti, S yeah. which are educated in Greece in piloting. So that I hope you know this kind of relation can expand, you know, especially the educational. Yes, yes. yes. So regarding, you know, let's go to tourism, Your Excellency. Greek uh, is amazing, you know, these beautiful islands. I remember one time I flew you know, uh, uh, to Athena and, you know, definitely I've seen, you know, those beautiful islands, uh, small islands. So Greece considered a distinctive tourist attraction for many uh, Kuwaitis. What are the main factors of tourist attractions that uh, encourage Kuwaitis to visit Greece? 
I think one, uh, because I talk with many Kuwaitis, is the, the friendliness and the hospitality of the people. That plays a great role yeah. because there are other countries, neighbor to Greece, which have some common things, but they don't have the miss cozy. that. Especially the cuisine, the, <laughs> the yes, Greek cuisine. Yes, the great gastronomy <laughs> as well is very important. Yeah. The landscape of Greece is very, very rich. It's uh, not a big country, but in any case, there is a great, great variety of landscape. Yeah. From very high mountains, mountains to go to seas to very nice islands. bays, islands, a lot of historic sites. All, uh, gastronomy and history, all that creates really a unique canvas. Uh, Absolutely. That's, uh, as we can uh, see, as you see here, yeah. beautiful, beautiful landscape. Uh, yes, yes. And definitely, you know, uh, when when we go to uh, definitely see uh, the Colosseums and uh, the? the Colosseums, right? Ah, yes, yes, yes. The theaters. The theaters. Ah, theater. Yeah. No, like beautiful. That. Yes, yes, yes. What a what a sight. And uh, during summer there are a lot of uh, festivals. Activities and festivals. Yes, yes. Yeah. That is very interesting as well that's, to follow. That's to. that's really interesting, uh, Your Excellency, uh, and. You know, speaking of uh, uh, the tourism side, I mean, even food. Food is tasty and it's Mediterranean and it's mm -hmm. similar to the Middle East. Yes. Hummus, there are similarities. There are a lot of similarities. Yeah. But uh, Greece is very, Greek uh, food is very much based on olive oil. Uh -huh. That is very important. This does create a kind of healthy, yeah. healthy food for that. We have a lot of fish as well and a lot of vegetables. Nice. And uh, that uh, dairy products, which are famous, mm -hmm. like the yogurt especially. Yeah, yogurt, you yeah, have a lot of And the cheese, feta cheese. Yeah. Oh, -oh. <laughs> that's really amazing, <laughs> definitely. Uh, how many Kuwaiti uh, tourists visit Greece and uh, uh, what are the visit visa requirements? Uh, I don't know exactly the number for this year, but uh, it's the first uh, year we gave so many visas. We gave around 5,000 uh, 5, visas, visas, which is uh, very important. And uh, this year we have inaugurated the direct flight to Mykonos. Mm -hmm. And I was in the first uh, flight and uh, we made a special reception for the guests. Mm -hmm. And uh, this contributed a lot because it really became a real destination uh, this year. Sorry? Again? It became Greece a real destination, especially Mykonos, yeah, yeah. because it was this direct flight as well, yeah. which helps a lot. Absolutely. D uh, definitely we encourage, you know, uh, and it's safe and secure and you have, uh, you know, police all over and that's really amazing. Yes. So you can just take a walk or take a stroll and uh, uh, Greek people are really... Uh, uh, very uh, uh, generous and they have the hospitality. Yes, and concerning requirements, as you ask me, for Kuwait it is very simple. The first day they go to Al Raja Tower to VFS there, and the maximum in two days after, yeah. they have their visa. Amazing. Uh, Your Excellency uh, Ambassador Konstantinos Papragos, uh, do you have any last message you want to say for you know our viewers? Yes, I think uh, I make the suggestion to visit Greece, to enjoy the hospitality, to enjoy the Greek civilization, to visit place, to, to stay in uh, very luxury hotels and uh, follow festivals and so on. Uh, okay, and uh, have the knowledge of the Greek people, yes. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, you. uh, Mr. Uh, Ambassador of uh, uh, Greek, uh, Konstantinos Peperigos uh, in Kuwait. Thank you very much. Thank you. Pleasure. Uh, definitely a presentation of the results of work of the joint Polish-Kuwaiti archaeological uh, mission was organized at the Embassy of Poland in Kuwait on Wednesday, 2nd of November 2022. So. Uh, Let's uh, see uh, this uh, beautiful report which uh, Good Morning Kuwait camera went there.